Okay guys, hello. Uh, my name is Adreza here in another Genshin Impact video. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, some weekly stuff that you can do in Genshin Impact. Uh, previously, I've talked about some daily stuff like, that you can do in Genshin Impact for casual players. For more information for hardcore players will be delivered later. Now, in weekly routines, all you have to do just follow the battle pass quest here. Open the weekly missions here. You can do the daily missions first like doing for daily commissions. Mine 10 items it's quite easier at right here and use total resins if you play or if you burn out your resins uh, frequently you can definitely do this and for the login one you just uh, can get it immediately when you log into the game now for the weekly missions there are several missions here that you can do these missions guide you to do every weekly things that you can do in this game let's talk about this one first this, the first one is collect a hundred monster local specialties you have to collect a hundred of it in order to collect the mission now monster local specialties are the specialties that can be found in monster for example like berries um, wolf hook or something like that just for an instance if you want to do it quickly all you have to do is just port here to storm bearer point or this place this area and you can find some fall berries there those berries can be counted as monster local specialties now if you have Kali you can see at her passive here her talents the last one all of my treasures here it says that this place the location of nearby resources unique to Mondstadt on the minimap the resources are the local Mondstadt as you can see on my map there is a hand sign here a hand marker that will lead you into the local Mondstadt specialties if we go through here and we approach the sign we'll find the fall berry or the local monster specialty it can be wolf hook wind wheel ester or anything that can that require for ascension material now just to make sure look at here uh, mine is just one per hundred and we collect four of them and you can see that it increased okay it's same for the liue local specialties too now the character that shows the location on the map when when it deals with the Liyue local specialties is Chichi but unfortunately I don't have Chichi because it's 5 star character and it is very hard to get 5 star character without spending money I will show you the location or the best location that you can uh, visit if you want to finish sorry finish the Liyue local specialties here okay just go to King Chief village over here there are some of Juyun chilies that can be counted as Liyue local specialties
now I have found some giant chilies here but you can find some of this giant chili just follow the path of the bridge okay the next one is David boss enemies 10 times there are ocean it here the pyro reg is fine the geo hypostasis the cryo reg is fine the animal hypostasis and electro hypostasis that are counted as boss or elite boss now you can just kill them or kill one of the bosses here one per day if you want to progress it a little by a little if you want to rush just want to kill 10 at one time you can do it but I just suggest you to kill um, two of the bosses a day just to test your strength and how far you progress in the game move to the next one is the wolf north challenge you can just go here to fight the wolf if you unlock you have to unlock it first by doing the razor side quest and you will unlock the boss here and it counted as weekly boss and there is a uh, some notes here that I haven't claimed it just for weekly you can just uh, take it one per week now move to the storm terror domain challenge this one of domain that you can do it repeatedly but you can only collect the reward just one a week once a week okay it is located at storm bear storm terror slayer this one there is also a sign here i'm sorry uh you just have to go here There is also an, some notes that tells you you can only claim the treasure or the reward from completing this domain once a week. And I suggest you to do these two of weekly bosses, the wolf one and the storm terror one, because it gives you some decent rewards. You can get artifact here some gladiators that can be only dropped by bosses and some prototype weapon okay let's move to the next one use a total of 1200 original resin you can just complete it just easy if you burn your resin regularly you don't have to really pay attention to this because you will complete it by the time you play the game same goes to this one spend a total of 500,000 mora for the next one is domain challenge it will also be com it can be also completed easily by burning your resin so it has a relation here so you don't have really pay attention to this tree and for the next one the ley line deposit challenge 20 times if you 
want to complete this quest but you don't really want to collect the reward or if you want, if you don't want to spend your ration here you can only just go to the ley line side play or place just do the challenge and don't claim it it will be counted as one here and there are a total of four places for ley lines first one is here the second one is here there are two it must start and for the lower one there are one here and another one here so basically there are four play lines per day that you can do it okay so just you if you if you do it uh, daily like one day for play lines you can complete that quest before a week passed okay so you make make sure to note that and for the this is one this is very easy you just cook 20 types or 20 kind of dishes and the quest is done i will show you where you can cook easily just port to mustard here i'll show you the mustard one there is also a liu Wei, the one main uh, restaurant where xiang ling's father run his restaurant but in Mondstadt just go here there is an NPC that sells you some materials of for food and right here you can cook the food I will try to cook the sweet madame one for 20 this is okay make sure to use the, a proper character or character that has a bonus when it goes to for cooking like here I'm using Barbara because her passive says that it will give 12% of bonus to obtain double the product for HP related food just out of book here okay I got 22 and the quest is done I can claim here okay for the next one is force 20 item all you have to do is just go to the blacksmith here and click this one okay I have done I've done some uh, forging request here just click obtain here all I have to do just forge some mystic enhancement ore here you can do iron chunk white iron chunk magical crystal chunk but you require ration to do this not really recommended to do this and this is the must to do one okay using crystal chunk just gonna spam it like this all you have to do just wait until it can be obtained here takes uh, 15 minutes to claim all of this just wait and claim all of them and you can claim this reward okay now for the for these two quests all you have to do just go to the reputation NPCs I will show you in here in the most that there is one with the name of Hertha. Just talk to her. 
weekly this this weekly system at this reputation system you can do it only three and three per week if you done this three bounties you can you have to kill some enemies here and for request just uh, do some NPCs request here and you can finish the battle boss quest here and this gives you a decent amount of X before battle boss now it is important for you to complete or to fill your battle boss XP or level up because it will give you some decent rewards like here every 10 level you will get one equine fight until 50 and if it happen that you have some money to spend here you can get more rewards here so i think that's all the video from me about weekly routines that you can do in Genshin Impact I hope that this video will be useful for you and all in all all you have to do is just follow the weekly missions that is located in battle pass missions for weekly routines okay my name is Adreza See you again on the next video.